Hello, today on Handy Humans we're building raised bed protective covers. Start by measuring out the size of your bed. We originally planned on having these at 50 centimeters tall, but after buying the mesh, we changed this to 45 centimeters in order for it to fit. Next, we measured out the uh, wood and cut it to size. Uh, make sure you use a square edge to mark your cuts. Makes it nice and easy to get a square once you've built everything. Next, we moved on to cutting out the uh, wood from our 2.4 meter lengths. Uh, we marked them out, measured them up, used the square edge to make sure we got a nice square cut. Once we'd cut all of the longer edges for the use, bottom and top square, we then used one 2.4 meter to cut all of the upper legs of the cube. Once we had all the D word cut length, we were able to move on to joining everything together. Here we uh, used a square to make sure it was all lined up correctly. Uh, we then pre drilled the hole and screwed in with our two inch long exterior grade screws. As we'll be attaching the upright of the cube here in the same place, we made sure to offset these screws to one side to make sure we have no issues with them hitting each other inside the wood. So once we uh, screwed together the bottom square and the top square, we could then move on to attaching the upright supports. So with the bottom square attached, we could flip it over and attach the top square. As you may also notice, uh, we only have one uh, 
uh, drill at the moment, so we have to keep switching between the drill bit and the screw head. In an ideal world, you could use a drill to drill the pilot holes and then an impact driver to put in the screws, making the job go a lot quicker. So we actually added a top to our protective cover and with the mesh only being 50 centimeters wide we had to add two additional supports down the middle uh, in order to attach the mesh to. You could probably avoid this or space them differently depending on the size of your raised bed. So now the frame's all together, uh, we've Chloe took over and she used the staple gun to apply the mesh to all the sides and then onto the top. We actually own access to quite a cheap staple gun which uh, it, it worked but uh, the wood didn't accept every staple and occasionally they bounced out or we had to knock them in with a hammer as you'll probably notice a little bit later in the video. If you were purchasing a staple gun for this project or any project for that I would recommend spending a little bit more uh, to get a good quality one and avoid having the issues that we had. If you're looking at trying this for yourself, we have left a list of tools that we used and where you can buy them in the description below. So I hope you've enjoyed watching our first video. Uh, we will be posting some more from our projects around the house, so make sure you hit the subscribe button and put the notification bell on. You will get notified then when our new videos are posted. If you like what you've seen as well, please hit that like button and by all means leave some comments. We'd love to know what you like or if you have any tips or pointers to help others when they build this project too. For the sides covered, all that was left was to put the two strips across the top and then we were done.
Here you'll see me going around, as mentioned before, just knocking a few of those staples in with a hammer. So there you have it. That's the Handy Humans Guide to Building Raised Beds Protective Covers.